شتان بين النور والظلمات نزلت بذلك محكم الآيات يا غافلا والموت يطلبه أما فكرت فيما تمضي الساعات أقبل على الرحمن واطلب عفوه فعسى المهيمن يغفر الزلات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته To our Muslim brothers in faith Sisters alike in Iman. What does Ramadan teach? Few days ago, people had been chasing Ramadan, 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 Ramadan. See, the first, first 10 days is gone. That tells us our life is but very ephemeral and short. So do not allow anyone to deprive you of hasanat in this month of Ramadan. Why did we call it emergency room anyway? Because a day will come, you will like for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and wish for a second, a minute to rectify, collect extra good deeds. Why? So that you could place it in your mizan of hasanat, the scale of good deeds. So Allah had blessed us. Some people a few days ago, they started to get like, you know, tired, the first 10 days is gone. Now we're facing the middle one. First 10 days, middle 10 days, and the last 10 days. So this is the moment for you to remember the call of Allah at the very beginning of Ramadan. Ya baghi al khayri aqbil. Or he who intends good, come out, get closer. Wa ya baghi al sharri aqsir. The one who intends or have intention of committing, you know, taqsir, falling short. Before Allah, you know, hold on, hold on to that. This is not the month. Your Quran in this month of Ramadan. Your Tilawa in this month of Tilawa. If you have chance to plan for I'tikaf from now, if you hadn't planned yet, it's supposed to be now. At least before Ramadan is out, you get a hizb, half a juz. Learn it. And know the meaning of it. If you had already memorized Quran all together, pick up a hizb. Learn it. Because Quran, understanding it, is what increases the love of its recitation. Many people think when I finish or I memorize Quran, that's it. Sahaba used to learn Quran and learn the meaning along with it to apply it. So I ask the brothers, ink under this episodes that we presenting from the beginning of Ramadan Ramadan the emergency room is asking and is telling you a time will come you will wish for a single you know minute one minute to be added in your mizan to be added to your good deeds or the scale of your good deeds you may not get it so try your best make up a schedule or come up with a timetable or come come up with a schedule for yourself I will do this in the morning, go to work. When I come back, I will do this. Try to read even five pages a day from Quran. Because Ramadan without Quran is not complete Ramadan. Where are we from Allah's statement? In Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah 186. 185, 186, when Allah told us about Ramadan, He said, Shahru Ramadan al-lati unzila fi al-Quran. See, Shahru Ramadan. The month of Ramadan, the month of, you know, Siyam, the fasting month in which the revelation of Quran took place. So Quran was revealed in this month. Do you know what Imam Malik used to do? He used to tell the students of Fiqh, students of Hadith, students of Tafsir, students of this, students, this month, just give me a chance to have my own place between me and Allah that was his emergency room he doesn't want a minute to go without acquiring or compiling some sort of good deeds and he used to make i'tikaf on Quran what is the meaning of this i'tikaf when we say akafa is to actually cling to something and get closer to it and attach to it that being said if Imam Dar al Hijra the Imam of Medina used to say to the students of hadith students of this please live between me and quran this is the month of it will you allow your job to deprive you 
your work to deprive you, that will be a catastrophe that you will place between you and Allah. So please, Imam Malik had done it. You are also on the way of Salaf Salih. Try to follow that methodology. Try your best, a hizb. If not hizb, maybe a page a day, maybe let's say page a day. You understand it and start to apply it. This is the key and the core heart of Ramadan when it comes to good deeds. If one harf, one letter of Quran is doubled, get to know in Ramadan is something else. So do as Imam Malik did and before him Prophet did it. And Jibril used to come purposely in Ramadan to listen to Quran from Prophet Sallallahu So be part of it. May Allah bless you and accept your Ramadan and your recitation. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode in emergency room in the month of Ramadan. May Allah bless you and your family. Accept your good deeds. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.